All right, so today the Detroit Pistons are in a draft lottery, and I got a lot to say now. Whew. All right, so before yesterday, before two days ago, for basically since Andre Drummond got traded, I was saying that the Pistons are going to tank, and we're going to get the first overall pick, and we need to draft with Melo Ball. Now, the problem with that is, well, two, that's what I thought before two days ago. Now, two days ago, I started to really think about it, like, all right, let's say we do get LaMelo Ball, the Pistons. We draft him. For the first, because the first four years of his contract, his rookie deal, he's going to be here. Then he's going to re-sign for another four years. So he's going to be about 27, 28 when he, when it's, when he goes into free agency. So by the time he gets really good and he's ready for us to like get him a championship, by the time he's really good, he's not gonna be, wanna be here anymore. Cause the mellow ball, he's one of those Holly. He grew up in Los Angeles. I mean, we all know what I'm talking about. He's one of them Hollywood type dudes who don't want to stay in the city like Detroit. We all know Detroit has a bad reputation and guys don't want to come here. I feel like Lamelo, one of those guys who's going to be here, get the money for the first four years, have his rookie deal, and then you got to resign because that's what all rookies do for the uh, rookie. I don't know what you call it, the rookie supermax or whatever. And then the first chance Lamelo Ball gets to leave Detroit, he's out of here. So that's my big concern with getting Lamelo Ball because by the time he's good, like 28 years old, by the time he's ready to win a championship. He's going to be out of here, and that's my big issue with him. By the time he's averaging 28, 30 points per game, he's going to be ready to go. So that's my main issue with us drafting LaMelo Ball at number one. And also, what are the chances of us like getting the number one overall pick right? Because if you look throughout the history of the NBA, there's been plenty of time where teams win the first overall pick and just draft bust. Anthony Bennett, for example, a bust. There's been many others. For the first couple of years of his career, Markel Fultz has looked like a bust recently. I mean, there are the chances of you getting it right at number one, you just don't know. Andrew Wiggins was the first overall pick. We thought he was going to be LeBron. He's just a pretty good player. So we may not be getting it right with the number one overall pick. And also, uh, we got guys like, uh, let me see, Tyrese Halliburton, a 6'5 point guard. I really like him. Uh, Onike, o I don't know if I'm pronouncing him right, Onike Okongwu. He's a 6'9". He's basically Bam. He's the next Bam Adebayo. I really like him. We got overseas, Denny Avajide. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Denny. I, I watched some film on him. This dude is really freaking skilled, man. I really like him. I mean, we saw Luka in a drive last year. I mean, I don't know what, what you would... An, another player I could compare him to. I'm Larry Bird, I guess. I mean, a guy who can shoot, dribble, and pass... So, so the the way how he plays is just so mesmerizing. It's just Luca, Larry Bird, and Denny. They all look alike to me. I mean, they really do. And I guess it's I would say Magic too, but Magic wasn't really a shooter like that. So that's why I didn't throw him in the mix. Uh, but yeah, man, we got so many other guys who, if we want to get Wiseman, we could take Wiseman and try this rebuilding with another center. We did it with Andre Drummond. It failed. We could try again with Wiseman. It's just uh, and Edwards. Edwards. I don't know if he will want to stay in Detroit. I will hope that he would, but I would rather take a shot on Edwards than I would Lamelo because I really don't believe that Melo will stay here. I feel like Lamelo Ball, the first chance he gets, the first train he can get out of here, the first ticket, he's up out of here. So that's my main concern with him. But as far as the Pistons go, man, as long as we're getting the top four pick, we could get Lamelo. Well, even top five. I mean, I'm good. We could get Denny. We could get Lamelo. We could get Edwards. We could get Wiseman. We could get Halliburton. We could get Okongwu. That's six. And then I forget the other uh, point guard's name. I'm forgetting it right now. Uh, he's six five as well. And Isaac Okoro, uh, if 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 I'm remembering correctly, Isaac Okoro is another guy who we could pick up. Man, there's just so many options, and the number one overall pick shouldn't be our main concern because it can go, it can really go any way. And you know, if you looked at the the past draft lotteries, I mean. It's not always about, you know, getting the first pick. And if you look at the past draft lotteries, it's not always being projected the first overall pick. Because right now we're projected five, but I believe we could still win it. If you look last year, everybody said the Knicks was going to get it. The NBA, uh, it was going to be Zion. It was going to be Kevin Durant and the other dude, the point guard. And everybody thought that was going to happen. And then you look, out of nowhere, the Pelicans get the first overall pick. And then out of nowhere... The Grizzlies get the first overall pick, and those two teams were in playoff contention. So somebody, one of these teams who were just in playoff contention, the Wizards, 
they could end up getting the first overall pick. So the Warriors could end up being out. Just so many things could happen where I believe that we could sneak in, get number one, number two, number three, anything like that. But, you know, I'm I'm going to feel my reaction. I don't think I'm going to be angry with, with whatever pick. As long as we're top five, top six, top seven, it's so many options that the Pistons could go with. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy right now, you know, knowing that we have a pretty. If we get number three, I'm really happy. I don't I don't want number one anymore. I'm t- I've talked myself out of liking Lamelo Ball. I'm I'm in everybody else. I'm in on, but because Lamelo, I feel like he will leave us. I've talked myself out of him, but let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'm out.